but the power had revealed them unto us right. by his spirit. Right, which is what? Uh, great millstone, he has revealed the things unto us by his spirit, read. For the spirit search all things. Right, so the spirit is going to search all things, man, all right? Go ahead. Yay, the deep. Uh-huh. Things of the power. Go ahead. For what man know things of a man? Save the spirit of man which is in him. Even so, the things of the power no, no, knoweth no man, but the spirit of the power. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the power. Right, so we, we, we have re received the spirit of the, of the most high, man. All right, not the spirit of the world, man. That's why you ain't supposed to be running around doing whatever the fuck you want to do, man. Doing things all out of order, man. You know? Free. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of the power. See, that we may know the things that are freely given to us, man. All right? The things that, that, that the knowledge of the scriptures is, is freely given, man. All right? Starting with the elders on down, man. When they first came out on YouTube, man, they they set up a uh, uh do do it like Nate, no, you know. They 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 charge people for breakdowns, you know. But there's also talking about how the Lord is, you know, is, is how you how you just uh 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 reveal things through the Spirit, man. You know, it's it's freely give, man. You know. Which things also we speak, not in the words uh -huh. which man's wisdom teacheth. Right, the things we speak, man. All right, we read that part over again. Which things also we speak. Which things also we speak. Read. Not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. Right, and that's what you see. A lot of them guys who's supposed to be in the truth, they're teaching. They're, they're trying to bring the things of, of man's wisdom into the truth, man. All right? This is exactly what they doing, man. Somebody give me uh, the book of James 2, verse 7. Oh, the wisdom that is from above. Things like the fourth chapter is earthy and sensual. Get that for me. But what, what you got? Uh, this is Luke 9 and 25. Uh -huh. It says, For what is a man advantaged uh -huh. if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? Uh -huh. It said, for, uh, uh, that was it. That was it on there. Yeah, man. And, and that's what you see. Like a lot of these guys, like Nate, Yohanna, and all them guys, man. They, they done basically gained the world, man, because they done sold out, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And lost themselves, man. Yep. You know? By way of pride, man. Hey, man. Pride is a cancer, man. Shit, man. Hey. Hey. You know what? You can have. You can have all this shit going on with you, man. But if you got pride, man. You like a hard, you like a hard person to deal with, man. You know, that's why, that's why the Lord said the will, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with him, man. You know, that's why the Lord said, I, I am in, I am in heaven, down upon earth. Let thy words be few. You know, because you could talk yourself into a, into a grave, man. Into a spiritual grave, and then eventually a physical grave, man. Yeah. And that's what you see. A lot of them guys are in the spiritual grave. Them guys are dead, man. Straight up dead. And finish that. Con, verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, oh. but which the Holy Ghost teacheth. Right, well, which the Holy Ghost teacheth, man. All right. Read. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. See, that's what you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to compare spiritual things with spiritual things, man. All right? Read. But the natural man receiveth not the things See, of the spirit. That's the point. The natural man, a nigga that's, that's dealing in a, in a carnal way, he can't receive the things of the spirit, man. All right? Because he's carnal, man. Go ahead. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the power, uh -huh. for they are foolishness unto him. Uh -huh. 
and, and, and that's and that's what you see, man. And that's what you see a lot of them counts. They basically saying the the real knowledge, the real understanding of the scriptures is foolishness to them, man. That's why you see them teaching all kind of fucked up doctrines, man, and coming with coming up with fucked up shit, man. Instead of the doctrine that's already set, man, that's been set by by great millstone, man. All yeah, right. Man. Hey, like I U I C, they said they said uh, they said King Solomon was was going off because he was dealing with multiple wives, man. And they saying that's the reason why the Lord took the kingdom from man. Them niggas, man. Them niggas are fucking like Satan, man. And then when I asked him, when I asked the guy from IUIC, I asked him, well, well, what, what about Abraham? Abraham's wife gave him an Egyptian woman. So was he going off too? Then you don't got shit to say. Well, well hey, well, let's clarify. Get the book of Nehemiah real quick. The last chapter real quick. We gonna jump right back to what we was going to see. Book of Nehemiah, the last chapter. Ooh. Now, was this Solomon, did, 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 did he... Did the Lord punish him for, for, uh, for uh, uh, having having those women? No, man. It was because he went off star from 26, 13, 26. Nehemiah chapter 13. Hey, camera. It's Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 26. It says, did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Right, he said, did not. Hold on, no, it's star from. Star from 25. Uh, verse 25 It says And I cons con consent contended. contended with them And cursed them And smote certain of them And plucked off their hair And made them swear by God Saying ye shall not give Your daughters unto your sons Nor take your daughters unto your Take your daughters unto your sons mm -hmm. For yourselves mm -hmm. Did not Solomon king of Israel Sin by these things Right. Yet among many nations what was there no king like him uh -huh. who who was beloved of his God uh -huh. and God made him king over all Israel. Go ahead. Nevertheless, even even him king over all Israel uh, it's like nevertheless, even him did un out, outlandish women cause to sin. See, even him outlandish women caused him to sin. It wasn't him having a uh, him marrying the women or uh, yeah. him having the women cause him to sin. The women, the women had him going off, yeah. man. All right, when he married those other women, he got to worship in their gods. Read that part over again. Hey, it's just like in the world, man. Niggas have you your woman have your ass going to church, man. If you ain't careful. Yep. Go ahead and read that. It says, "Did not Solomon, king of Israel?" So, the, the point. Oh, the point. Nevertheless, nevertheless, even him did out. Outlandish women caused him to sin. See, outlandish women caused him to sin. It wasn't him having a woman, all right? Because they tell you in the pocket, but the world was made for our sakes, all right? Read. Shall we then hearken unto you to do all the great evil, to transgress against our God in marrying strange wives? Right, and, that, right? and that's what it mainly was. It was marrying the, the women, man, all right? Like you, you're not supposed to marry the women of the, of the other nations, right? but you can't have them as concubines, pop them. But you know what Solomon did? He wasn't just marrying the women; he was worshiping their gods. That's why it says outlandish women what caused him to what transgress. All right, All right, we off that. Let's get back to what we was going into. Verse 14, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit right. of the power. See, the natural man receiveth not the things of the power, man. Read. For they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know, know them. Yep. And, Be there's, and there's Nathan all them guys and, and people that's out in the world in general, man. You know? The things of the Heavenly Father is foolish, man. Go ahead, you got that in James, I call it. Was that, was that done? It's a little bit more. Go ahead. It says, because they are spiritually discerned, uh -huh. but he that is spiritual judge of all things. Right, so him that is spiritual, he's going to judge all matters, all things, man, all right? The spiritual man that, that, that's looking at things from the spirit, man, 
all right, and not from his old Colonel, like that nigga uh, Sakari. Oh man, the, the law of this. He 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 might as well join Nate Nate them camp, man. You know, he might as well be buddy buddy with, with Nate them and join Nate camp, man. You know, because that that guy don't look at nothing from a spiritual level, man. It's a it's a lot of a lot of you niggas are Pharisees, man. There's a lot of Pharisees out there, man. Sadducees. Yeah, man. The Pharisees too, cause they, cause they, they, they put on, they put on the presence, like they, like they dealing in the spirit. Yep. But they, but they demons, man. You know, that's why the Lord, that's why the Lord dealt with them Pharisees. Like you, know, you widen your, your, the borders of your garments. Put on the godly apparel. You know, we have big ass phylacteries on the head, man. And you can tell, man, when you watch that nigga videos, man. Just check out his whole little swag, man, whatever. He, that dude's a nigga, man. He's a nigga. That nigga Sakari's a nigga, man. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, That's a straight up, that is a nigga. There's a nigga in the garment, man. That fucking long hair and shit, man, the most high gonna kill that nigga, man. The door's gonna kill that nigga. No, another thing, the spirit don't never leave a nigga, man. When you when you a nigga in the world, man, and then you come and then you, you came into the truth, and the Lord spewed your ass out, you was still that same nigga, man. Because that video you made, you fucking Ginyan gang, because you always wanted some type of fame, man. Yeah, that, was nigga, the whole, that was the whole yeah. purpose for you trying to get into this thing, man. Dude, and the Lord spewed your ass that out. That dude was a straight up nigga. Ginyan gang. But they call him the Ginyan Knight. He gonna try to add. This nigga created a people, huh? Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> the Ginyan Knight is from Jerusalem. <laughs> from, a, from Jerusalem. That's a nigga, man. Man, hey, you gotta pay for that. You going off, That's man. That's right, bro. That's right. Try to bring the truth with some nigga shit. A gang with the truth, man. The gang and gang. From Jerusalem? That's some nigga shit, man. Appreciate sure. That dude's a nigga, man. I, I mean, I, I can't say it enough, man. That dude is a N-I-G-G-A, man. A nigga. Yeah, because the fact, nigga. Go talking about fucking putting gold sticks on me. Let me get this real Go ahead. Uh, James chapter 3 verse that you want me to start 15 you go go right to 15 okay chapter uh, verse 15 it says this wisdom de decreases not de descended not from above uh -huh. but is earth right this wisdom read, read, read it again it says this wisdom descended not from above but is earth right so this wisdom descended not from above but it's earthly. Three. Sen sen sensual. 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 Devilish. Um, for where envy and strife is. Right. And, and that's and that's why you see us always, we always gotta combat them niggas, man. Cause the shit that 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 that, that they teach is always is gonna always bring strife, man. You know? Cause that shit they teaching is of the world. It's not from above, man. You know. So we gotta always gotta we always gotta combat those niggas, man. Free. Cause uh, they constantly going off, man. Free. Says uh, for where envy and strife is, uh -huh. there is confusion in every evil work. See that is the, exactly. There is confusion. The IUIC shit. That is confusion, man. We got women all up in the congregation and shit, man. We got niggas getting lineups. Oh, hell yeah. You got, you, you got, uh, fucking, uh, 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 Yohanna, uh, breaking down Revelation 13 chapter on, talking about this 666 man that's ruling the earth. Talking about that's the mark of the beast, 666 man. Wait, didn't he say, uh, yeah. King Solomon had the mark of the beast? Yeah, bro. <laughs> It's been about 10 different. Solomon had the mark of the beast. I was there when you called him on his radio show and he said Solomon had King Solomon had the mark of the beast. So I asked him, hey, so had had his so Solomon buy and sell? <laughs> no, that's not the. Then he said it was a whole nother mark from the mark. <laughs> Bro, he I the mean, mark. He, yeah, you the damn mark. <laughs> <laughs> hey, show it, show that. Go to go to Romans, like the 16th chapter. The scriptures say, "Mark them that cause division, man." Yeah, you are the mark, man. Hey, Jake had a saying back in the back in the 90s. He was like, "Look at that mark ass nigga." Yo, you know what I'm saying? Hey, cause you know, people spiritual. Yeah.
right. Hey, that, hey, that going yeah, on with Mark. To mark them, bro. Yeah. Mark them. Yeah. Might be about the, uh, might be the 15th chapter, man. And who know where that scripture at? Mark them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Call the call the yeah. yeah, it's in Romans. That nigga, Jake gone, man. Uh, yeah, that's why we don't take Jake serious, man. Look at the fist up, man. He gonna fist bump up, man. Hey, Lo hey, Lo he, he said the devil's playing his music, but it was a crack of driving. It's Romans 16 and 17. Yes. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division. Yeah, so they are. That nigga is the mark. Divisions. <laughs> and offenses. Divisions. Yeah, man. And, 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 and offenses. And offensive, what? Contrary to the doctrine. Contrary to the doctrine, man. So those niggas are, are the damn mark, man. And they mark. Them niggas mark for death, really, man. Steven Seagal brought run out of the movie Mark for Death. That's a perfect right. Movie, you know? right. And that's what the Lord, the Lord gonna break y'all up. Just like Steven Seagal will be on the movies breaking up niggas, man. Con. We're gonna break your arms, break your legs. That whole little body y'all got is gonna get broke up. That 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 that, that, that diseased body y'all got, man. Lord, Lord is gonna Lord is gonna bring a spiritual Steven Seagal in to break y'all ass up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, they already getting broken up. They're gonna hands, break man. that shit up, man. Shock y'all mm. left. Yeah. Shock y'all left by USC. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, it was it was some other cats on uh, on uh, on on YouTube that was saying that they left by USC. Yeah, man. Lord's gonna bring a spiritual Steven Seagal in to come break y'all niggas up, man. He gonna he gonna break your legs, your arm, your neck. Bust your side of your damn head. Go ahead. It says, which ye have learned and avoid them. Uh -huh. For they... Yeah, which ye have learned and avoid them, read. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, right, and Mashiach. So that are such serve not our Lord, man. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Because whenever you call on the word Christ or Jesus, man, you're not serving our Lord. You're, you're just serving some shit of the world, man. Yeah, right. You know, you're serving Satan, yeah. man. All right? If you constantly pushing that word Christ, man, you worship Satan, man. Yeah. yeah. Or the goddamn white man, because the white man is, he is Satan. What the devil. What's the word? Satan just means a adversary, man. Which means what? He, he, he's an enemy to the most high. So if you constantly pushing that Christ and all that shit, man, you 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 an enemy, man. You you the damn devil. You're Satan. Go ahead. He said he says uh, Slaki. He says and by Slaki. But there are, I'm gonna start it again on the top of this. Go ahead. He said for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahusha and Mashiach, but their own belly. But their own belly, man. Which means what? They, they're looking to feed themselves, man. Got the things that's, that's not the truth, man. They're looking to feed themselves, man. And, 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 and they're looking to gather riches unto themselves. Niggas like Nate and, and, and Yohanna and uh, Bubble Eyes, man. Them guys sold out, man. All them guys so comfy, you know. They feed, feed their own bellies, man. Free. He said, and by good words and fair speeches, uh -huh. de deceive the hearts of the simple. Yeah, and by good words and fair speeches. Oh, what's the Yohanna actually do speeches, bro. He don't do no, bro, he don't bring out no scriptures, bro. Like Martin Luther King. Yeah, but Yohanna is like a fucking coach at a pep rally, man. He pumping you up. Yeah, we gonna go out there and fight, man. He ain't bring out no goddamn scriptures, man. You know? No, not goddamn scriptures, boy. He ain't bringing out no scriptures. You know? He just looking, he, he's, he's pumping you up, man. You know? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, finish that. Let him finish this. 
party. It says, uh, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure. Right, so the wisdom that's from above is pure, man. That's why nobody can come against this doctrine without getting cut up, man. You know? Go ahead. Then peaceable. Then and, and peaceable. Gentle. Right? Gentle. And easy to entrust. And that's how we deal among, and that's basically talking about amongst the brothers, man. You know? Because this, because this knowledge, it brings peace amongst the brother, and the brother but it mainly makes enemies, you know? Especially to people that's out of the world, man. You know? Read. It says, uh, full of mercy and good fruits, uh -huh. without part, uh, partially, partially, part, partially, uh -huh. and without hypocrisy. Yeah, without partially and what? Without hypocrisy, man. So there's nothing partial, you know, about GMS, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, and the fruit of the righteousness is sore in peace. Song. Song in peace uh -huh. of them that make peace. Yep. Right. So what you got? I, I got um uh, <clears throat> John. John 4, 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah, man. They that worship him shall worship him in spirit, all right, and in truth, man. All right. And that's and that's and that's that's the main thing, man. You want to worship the Lord in, in truth, man. Because so many lads have been pushed out there, but you got niggas that's uh that's that call themselves Israel that's bringing in lies, man. That's why I say they that worship Him should worship Him should what in the spirit, which means you got to be in the spirit at all times, man. All right, and with you being in the spirit. The truth, the truth is gonna come anyways, man. You know? That's, that's why I said, you just read some, reading the James, it said, nothing partial. You know? Because when you're dealing in, in the spirit, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna know, you have a hundred percent truth anyways, man, in the spirit, man. You know? But when you're dealing, uh, uh, partially, like, you know, like like a nigga like IUIC, those niggas are partial. That's why you don't see them go out in the winter, you know. Hell, they probably barely go out in the damn summer, man, because they partial, man. What you got? Okay. Go ahead and finish. I, I'll read it after you. Go ahead. It says, Thus said the Lord, this is Ezekiel 13, verse 3. It says, Thus said the Lord God, woe well to the foolish prophet that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Right, that follow their own spirit have not seen nothing, man. And that's what you got. You got a bunch of niggas following their own spirit, man. You know? Doing the things that they want to do. It says, oh Israel, thou fuck. See, and back, and back to, the, to the spirit, man. Every, these, they that worship him should worship him in spirit and in truth, man. So when you got the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shawet, you got the truth. You know? The doctrine is on point, man. But when you got somebody there to take the name, like we don't know the name, they're partial, man. They don't got the truth, man. Little levels, levels the whole hey, lot. Hey, get that, get that. You can't get that. You know? A little leaven, man. Which, that's not a little, that's a lot of leaven, man. That's a big chunk of leaven. For you to just take away the name of the Lord, be like, we don't know the name of the Lord. That's off, man. You going off. Hard. We're going to say, I don't know your name. Yeah, man. So, verse it you you going off hard, man. This is uh Galatians chapter five, verse nine. A little leaven leavens yeah. the whole and, lump. And you got them, them niggas be talking about they the prophets, man. I heard the niggas at IUIC talking about they the prophets of the Lord. What is y'all niggas prophesying against? What are y'all prophesying? Them niggas be going off, man. Somebody hold Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. 
You know, them niggas, I done actually heard them niggas say, yeah, you looking at the profits of the profits of the, oh, wait, 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 wait. Like, like the them niggas, yeah, I barely, hey, when Nate do his, do his lessons, he don't talk about the destruction of America. That's right. You never see a title on this shit that be like, America's gonna be destroyed by nuclear never. destruction. Never. never, man. Never. I have not yet seen it, man. Go ahead. I got something I can get through. It's Galatians. Chapter 5, verse 9. Mm -hmm. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Right, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump, man. So if you're teaching something just as small, some small, man, better yet, some major, which, which them guys, them be a little leaven, man. They, they, they teach, they go against major things, man. Like the mark of the beast. That's a major prophecy. You have the name of the Lord. That's major, man. You know? But they started with 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 little leaven things like uh, uh, the rape issue, which like that's not really a big issue, but it's against the scriptures because you're breaking it down wrong. We ain't saying you gotta go out there and rape a woman and doing all that do, and do that shit, you know. But you teaching otherwise, that's not how it went in the ancient world. That's leaven, man. You going off, man. You know. And they turned it into this great big issue, you know. You know, they they turned that that whole scripture right there into a great big issue. Write it down. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. Somebody else was holding. I got something. So go ahead, get what you got. This is Ephesians chapter four, verse uh, twenty-three. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put off the new man. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. So there you go. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. All right? Basically, take that, that nigga spirit and that shit that you learned, man, and throw that shit in the damn garbage, man. Right. Throw it in the trash can, man. 